Hi, everyone. I'm Steph Kent, a middle-aged white woman with very short salt and pepper hair. Today, I'm wearing a blue collared shirt with white buttons, and my background is black. This short video has only one purpose, which is to illustrate the language continuum that is always happening when two human beings communicate with each other. This layer is an important part of interpreting when an intermediary is involved. This is either a formal or informal role that we label the interpreter. One of the main points of my research is to draw attention to this layer because how we think about it has a lot to do with how we create meaning and understanding together. I made this animation to help promote a handbook for educators teaching in business schools around the world. There's a chapter in the handbook that describes how language difference can be an innovation engine within companies if they apply collaborative communication, a technique we called rich point pedagogy. The chapter also suggests that language difference can be mobilized as policy and practice in all sectors in order to achieve the sustainable development goals of the United Nations. How could this work? I'm going to provide a visual description of the slide elements as I explain them. This is to make the information accessible to people who are blind, deafblind, or have low vision for any reason. Right now, the slide shows two text boxes, one along the bottom in small print, which is reference material explaining where this concept has been introduced. The other text box is arranged vertically along the right side with one word, homolingual. This label refers to attitudes and practices about language and languages. Especially in countries with only one official language, there's an attitude that everyone should speak that language. There are also assumptions about when or whether we are or are not speaking the same language. Differences in language use come up in all kinds of ways, such as with second language learners, immigrants, expatriates, and also between scientific disciplines, different sectors of society, and varieties of cultural upbringing and socialization even among people within the same country. The concept of homolingual represents one pole of a continuum with plurilingualism on the other pole. Now showing on the left side of the slide, also in a vertical text box, is the word plurilingual. The extreme case of plurilingualism is interpreted interaction. When someone in the role of an interpreter intermediates among speakers or signers of different languages. These two terms inscribe the field of interaction from similarity to diversity in the languages used during communication. Now, a double-sided wide arrow appears between the two poles of plurilingual and homolingual with the label languaging continuum inside of it. When a child is born, they'll learn whatever language they are exposed to, including many languages at the same time if that's in their environment. Now there is a vertical yellow bar showing at the far left side of the continuum, at the plurilingual pole. As we develop, humans tend to consolidate or converge toward the type and kind of language used in their community. The yellow bar travels now all the way to the other end of the continuum on the right, the homolingual pole. Ideally, what we want is for folks to develop and retain the plasticity to communicate in different language conditions. The yellow bar oscillates back towards the plurilingual pole on the left and then shifts back towards the center and comes to rest. 